Hi. In the second part of multi-parameters series, we're going to discuss the Banks mode, one of four modes that determine multi-parameters behavior. For the other three modes, normal, switch, and trigger, please refer to the first part of the series. The distinctive feature of this mode is that it allows us to have a multitude of fixed values called banks for each parameter and to interpolate from one to another. For example, here is the M-Dynamic EQ, which is controlled by a single multi-parameter. It works pretty much as if we've morphed between different presets where each preset is presented as a bank. Let's have a look at the multi-parameters window to understand how it works. To switch the multi-parameter to the banks mode, click on the banks tab in the behavior panel. What we're interested in the most is the parameters panel. First, we need to decide on how many banks we want. Up to 32 banks can be set by the number of banks controller. The minimum is two banks. However, I should mention that setting up only two banks doesn't make much sense, as by doing so, you simply imitate the normal mode. Let's set it to four. Here, we can see four columns, each representing a bank. And here is how it works. First, I must appoint a multi-parameter to the controllers I'd like to control. Next, I define values of each parameter listed in the parameters panel for each bank on the plugins interface. When I'm happy with my set, I simply click on the save button to save the parameters position as a bank. I do this for all four banks. Now, when I'm moving the multi-parameters slider on the multi-parameters and modulators panel, all assigned controllers are smoothly interpolating from the values saved in one bank to the values in the next one. As I've set up four banks, my multi-parameter changes from one to four, where each integer corresponds to the banks. One, two, three, and four and values between them correspond to some intermediate states. We can confirm a transition from one bank to another by looking at the black rectangle's position on the bank control panel. As you can guess, by using the bank mode, one can manipulate parameters in a very complex way. Here are just a few simple examples of what you can do with that. Let's go through the rest of the parameters. You're already familiar with the number of banks controller. Sort banks up button reorders the banks in such order by which a selected parameter 
in the parameter panel is increasing with each bank. For example, if I select the band 1 sharpness first and then click on the sort banks up, the bank with the sharpness's lowest value will become the bank number 1. The bank number 4 will be the bank with the sharpness's biggest value and the banks 2 and 3 between them. Sort banks down does the opposite job. Reverse button reverses a current order of banks regardless of a currently selected parameter. Frequently after parameters have been changed, the output level will be changed too. That can fool our perception of the sound, so it would be a good idea if no matter how greatly we change parameters, the output signal's level would stay more or less the same. Auto gain function does just that. To use it, you must first add the output gain controller to the parameter list. Next, press playback and then auto gain button. In some time, the plugin will calculate the output gain parameter for each bank. Load button loads bank settings. It can help with a quick settings check without a necessity of moving a multi-parameter slider. You're already familiar with save button. Randomize button applies to smart randomization algorithm. Only parameters listed on the parameter list will be randomized. A handy function to help you with ideas. For a general randomization, hold control button on a computer's keyboard. Using the Alt left mouse button combination forces the plugin to use the full strength randomization. Try and see what works for you best. The next button helps to move banks within bank group. If you want to place banks in a specific succession, use this option. Name button allows you to call a bank by a special name. By bank's name option reflects bank names as a multi-parameter interpolates between them. There are two modes you can use to move from one bank to another. The first mode, which I've been using so far, allows you to make a smooth transition between banks. To get that, activate the interpolate values option. The parameter determining the time of transition is the speed in the behavior panel. If I set it to zero, the interpolation will strictly follow the multi-parameters movement. The second mode for a transition between banks doesn't have any interpolation at all and works rather like a switch. Turn off the interpolate values option if you need that. The switch to the next bank will happen when the multi-parameter is crossing over its middle position between banks. Both mentioned above modes can be set for each parameter listed on the parameter list individually. However, in most of the cases, you want all the parameters to change in sync. To apply one of the modes to all parameters, first activate it for any parameter and then click on the set to all parameters button. It'll save you lots of time. The cyclic mode adds the first bank to the bank chain. That is, even if you have selected four banks to work with, activating the cyclic mode gives you the five in total. One, two, three, four, one. Thus, you start from the bank number one and you finish with the bank number one. The checkboxes option defines the multi-parameters look on the active presets panel. The last note. The advanced users have already guessed that one can achieve the same level of control in the normal mode by utilizing the transformation shape feature. Sure, we can come up with some weird curve to get the same result. Moreover, We'll even be able to control the interpolation shape 
from a bank to bank. Yes, it's possible. However, amount of time that will be spent to get this in the normal mode will be enormous in comparison to the bank's mode. That's all for now.